And we're back. Mike Cernovich. Cernovich.com. As you can see, I'm uh, hysterical. I'm in a, um, a frantic... I'm in a frantic, hysterical state, according to people on Twitter. Mike, they said you're losing it. You're hysteric. You're, you're frantic. Like, okay, sure thing. But I'm just, I'm curious about something. You know that people in the Middle East have smartphones, right? They're, they're common. In fact, one of the issues with the, the migrant crisis is they all have smartphones and they all share the right places to go for the best benefits. So, I don't know, where is the video footage? I mean, right? Seems like kind of an obvious question to ask. Like, okay, they have smartphones in Syria. Smartphones are prevalent. So do we have, you know, where's the video footage? Where's the footage of the aftermath? Where's the footage of, oh no, but you get like one or two select videos, right? You get like one or two select videos. It's like, wait a minute, they all have cell phones though, right? So they all have cell phones. You don't get any interviews with the, the victim's family, right? It seems like, um, hey, so, you know, what happened? Who, what, where, and why? So the, the imaging and messaging is like being controlled. It's, it's fascinating. Because we live in a we live in a smartphone era now. You don't back you know, back in the first Iraq war, oh the you know, Iraqi soldiers are throwing um, babies out of incubators. And then WMDs in the second one. Well we're in a we're in a smartphone reality though. You don't get to you don't get to just say things now. It's like, wait a minute, there was a big attack and here's what happened. Okay, then we shouldn't get like one grainy video, right? You should have 50 videos, 100 videos, interviews with people, footage um, of the aftermath. Where did it happen? What area did it happen? What was going on in the buildings around it? Where are all the aid workers? But you don't get, you don't get, right? How does that make any sense? Other side of the argument, where are all the videos of people in Syria saying it didn't happen? Idiot. They're all over. What are you talking about? They're all over Twitter. Pay attention. Follow more accounts. And you can't, you can't like disprove a negative. So right now, how could I prove that there was not a attack right now? Right? You can't prove, you can't disprove a negative. But you can prove a positive. So if your claim is there's a big attack, if your claim is there's a big attack, and there's smartphones, people have smartphones, you ought to have a few videos. You shouldn't just have a one grainy picture, two grainy pictures. You should have a plethora of videos. So where are they? This whole, we gotta trust a grainy ass video. No, we don't, we don't. We actually don't, because if we trusted the intelligence, you know, McCabe lied under oath three times. If we trusted the intelligence community, then Russia and Trump colluded, right? Yeah, so there were videos of the air raids last night. Where are the videos? It's a great point, Kevin. So there are videos of the air raids last night all over. Where are the videos of the gas attacks? Right, I mean, you don't even have to, you don't have to be a genius. I'm not making a genius point here. I'm not so freaking smart right now. Oh, look at these insights. So last night you have all kinds of videos, pictures, here are the missiles coming in, here's everything happening. Because why? Because they have smartphones. Syria is not some third world hellhole where people don't have smartphones. They all have them. So where are the videos from the ground? of what's happening. No, we're getting like a couple grainy pictures. And the BBC even said one of them was staged. It was called The Last Hug. Uh, Google that, Google that, The Last Hug. That was actually staged. So yeah, we're post, we're post 9-11, people. If I don't see 25 videos, 25 pictures from smartphones, I'm not gonna believe it because everybody has smartphones. This is just, basic critical thinking this isn't even sophisticated 
it isn't even complicated, right? You don't have to, any teenager can tell you, well, yeah, I mean, there should be a lot of videos, right? You should have a lot of, uh, for example, that you, there was footage of the Parkland shooting everywhere you looked, all kinds of videos, horrific stuff. So where is it? Real simple. There is no, there are no videos. There are definitely no, that's just the way it is. And you know, whatever, people are gonna believe what they wanna believe, but the, the very people that we're supposed to trust are the people who said 9-11 meant we needed to invade Iraq, even though Saudi Arabia was responsible, and that there are WMDs in Iraq, and that Iraqi soldiers are throwing Kuwaiti babies out of incubators, even though that was a Kuwaiti diplomat's daughter, a dignitary. Hey, you don't have to be intelligent. Every war we've gone into started off with a lie. Gulf of Tonkin incident in Vietnam. Right, well, every war since World War II. Gulf of Tonkin incident. Incubator babies. WMDs. So, yeah, where, so you are an idiot. Where are the videos? Don't you love the insults? All I'm asking, where's the video footage? So apparently not trusting the same people who claim that Russia and Trump colluded, right? Because the very same people who are saying, oh, you know, here's a grainy picture, except this is gospel. Well, those are the people who are saying that you're all Trump bots and robots and Russian bots and that you're not even real people. Does it, what ha what's happened to critical thinking? Maybe critical thinking just doesn't exist in America anymore because you should say, well, wait a minute, they, they, all these people who said that I was a Russian bot are now saying that Trump and Russia colluded and they're saying that Assad gassed children, even though there aren't any videos. Why, well, I, I believe them now. Too much junk food, you're right. So anyway, we live in a smartphone world. It's not very complicated. We live in a smartphone world so if you can't show me videos, multiple videos from an event, you haven't, you haven't proven your case. Now somebody goes, well, you can't film during the attack. Look, interview the, the victim's families, right? So, and, and by the way, why is it that only women and children died in this gas attack? Has nobody asked that question? And that's some pretty powerful is there like smart gas now that it only goes and it only kills women and children? Doesn't actually kill men, just kills women and children. It's almost as if Al Qaeda or ISIS kidnapped a bunch of people. Oh, so maybe that's why they didn't interview the victims' families. So here's a hypothesis, just something to think about, food for thought. If it was actually Al Qaeda or ISIS who gassed a bunch of hostages, then they wouldn't want to interview the victims' families, would they? Because then people could say, well, actually, the victims' families are Christians in Syria. You could actually corroborate things, right? You could corroborate things. So that's something to think about. Where are the interviews with um, the, the victims' families? Where are the interviews with people in the nearby buildings, the nearby houses? What do they see? Did, you know, how, how was the gas thrown in here? You know, what's been the, the fallout? Where are all those videos? Awesome. Show right, pretty, uh, Jack, just makes you think. Anyway, that's it for me, for now. But as you can see, I'm just completely losing it, you know, because I'm asking questions in a calm and sober manner. So, and today, we become such a dumb society and a stupidified society that if you ask questions in a calm, rational manner, they will call you either a Russian bot, they'll say you're hysterical, they're claiming you're losing it, the, uh, right? That's what they do. You can't just say, hey, I have a few questions I'd like to have answered because only somebody completely losing their mind would actually, would actually think about issues in a logical manner and just ask questions in a calm, collected tone of voice. Thanks for watching. Mike Cernovich. Cernovich.com.